Hi, uh, this is Jack Stanley, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about a book that I have in my collection. Kind of an interesting book. Um, I purchased the book a number of years ago. I purchased for the specific reason of what it's called, A Monument to Jackson. And of course, that Jackson is Andrew Jackson. And this book came out in 1846, the year following the death of Andrew Jackson, and it's a tribute to him. And lots of writing, lots of talking and stuff like that about Andrew Jackson. But I was very disappointed when I got the book because it was severely water damaged. And I mean, when I say severely, I mean... It's, it was stained everywhere from, from water. I mean, water everywhere. And it's wet in the center, wet in the... It had been at one time thoroughly soaked. And of course, that was a long, long time ago whenever that happened, as far as I could think at the time. It wasn't something recent. And so I read the book. It was fascinating to read it. And I happened to notice some writing in the front. And this was very, very interesting. And I wanted to figure out what this was all about. And there's a couple of names here. Uh, the first name is uh, a Hickman Foster, who I have found, who was uh, living in Cape May, New Jersey. And there's another fellow here named Dennis Vale. I haven't quite figured out where he is or where he is from. And another name here is Samuel Young. And what is fascinating here is Samuel Young wrote a detailed bit of information under his name. And I'll read it to you verbatim. It says, Samuel Young... New York City, May 10th, 1849. Bark Elizabeth at New York. Interesting. And I sat there and I thought about this for a while. And the Bark Elizabeth, that name kind of stuck in my head a little bit. I did some research, and I discovered there was a Bark Elizabeth, B-A-R-Q-U-E, which is the spelling in the book here that was written by Mr. Young. Um, but I discovered in July of 1850, the Bark Elizabeth was shipwrecked off the coast, a couple of miles off of Fire Island. And... It was a very, very bad storm that caused the situation. Hit the rocks. The ship was pretty well wrecked, and the passengers and crew were stuck on board, and the people couldn't rescue them because the storm was so bad. And there were attempts to leave the ship, and a number of people survived, and, a, and eight people died. Of those eight, one of them was of note, and her name was Margaret Fuller, and she was an editor, writer, um, an early feminist, and friend to Henry David Thoreau and, and the Hawthorns, um, poets and writers, and she had a Quite a quite a resume already. She was close to 40 years old at the time. But she was with her husband and with her young child. And they were all lost. And there was a great deal of mourning over that. I've read by uh, Henry David Thoreau. Wrote an awful lot about it. But nonetheless, I started trying to put two and two together. Bark Elizabeth, 1849 someone wrote, and then in July 1850, it's wrecked. And so it, kind of putting two and two together, I came to the understanding that most probably this book was on the bark, 
Elizabeth. And these various people sign the book, writing down on the page, um, who had perhaps read it while being on the ship. And that when the ship was shipwrecked, everything was waterlogged. And so it kind of makes sense to me that most probably this came from a small group of books that they probably had on the ship for the passengers um, for them to read, to entertain them while they were taking their very long journey, because since it was a bark, it was not steam-powered, so it was at the mercy of the wind. And of course, what happened when it was shipwrecked and when things calmed down, there was a lot of stuff that came on shore and people stole everything they could get and people went out to where the wreck was and stole more stuff. There was big court cases over it and 30 people were charged um, and uh, bodies were washing up on, on the shore. And I happened to just wonder was this on the ship? It makes kind of sense that the fellow wrote they were in New York on the bark, Elizabeth, and most probably the people were reading the book. And so this waterlogged book is part of a very interesting piece of history. I can't say anything else than that, but the writing here, you know, at New York and Bark Elizabeth, that kind of tells you an awful lot. And so I wanted to share this with you, a little piece of maritime history from a, a rather nasty disaster that took place in July of 1850 off the coast of Fire Island and uh, became a rather infamous and famous tale of loss and of looting. And that's all I had to say. Just wanted to share this with you. Hope you found it interesting. Thank you.